Hi guys! Video number three on whatever I call this video. <laughs> uh, video series, actually. Anyway, so video number three is supposed to be about what can we do? How do we keep our faith? And how do we even know that we are saved? Or whether or not we are saved? And how do we stay saved, really? Okay. Um, so, difficult questions. Um, easy answers, right? <laughs> so, let's recap. End times are here. Freaking devil's deceiving us in several different ways. And now, third, we need to equip ourselves. How do we do that? Remember what Jesus said. Everything Jesus says is the truth. Everything that people say that doesn't have Jesus' name on it, that they don't give credit for Jesus, that's all bad. That's all wrong, you know? Higher consciousness. How do we get to a different... Uh, you know, level of consciousness. How do we get to, you know, uh, enlightenment, whatever they say, you know, um, those are all wrong. I mean, no, no, I'm not saying that's not a way to like, there's no way to enlighten yourself. You can't be on the fourth dimension, which is not time. Um, not none of that, I'm not saying any of that. Maybe that's true. That's how it works or whatever, but that's not how Jesus works. You see, um, and it does say in the Bible somewhere that um, you'll know that it's from God if they give God credit. You know, if they give Jesus credit, oh Jesus, you know, you know, if they're saying Jesus in their message, you know, and it's not <laughs> against, you know, what God said in the Bible, <laughs> that's how you know that it's um, from God and not from the devil. Um, Another thing is that like, um, well, I guess not another thing, but more deeper into uh, remember what Jesus said, remember the Bible, is that when people say things like, oh, he descended into AG double hockey sticks, you know that's wrong because that's not what it says in the Bible, right? Okay, so now when the devil tells you, oh, you're not one of the saved people, even though you've been baptized, um... If you know you have a relationship with God and you know that you believe the, the things that Jesus said that you had to believe in order to be saved, then you know you're saved because that's what God said. That's what it says in the Bible. The Bible is true. Okay. So when the devil tells you stuff like, hey, you know, and I, <laughs> it's funny because I say like when the devil tells you stuff like, but it's actually, um, at least for me, I'll tell you my experience. Um, the devil isn't like a separate, uh, like being or no, he is. I mean, <laughs> when he talks to you, it's not like, uh, uh, you know, he's not like evil. He doesn't talk to like, you know, like the snake stuff <laughs> it's not like he's like Shh, sh do this you know or oh you're terrible you know it's not like that he's <laughs> he's like in your head he's your he's the the doubt that you have you know like it when for me ever since i've been looking into you know the end times and jesus and the bible you know trying to figure out what's happening currently um ever since i've don't started doing that um i've been like you know worried like you know oh my gosh i'm not perfect like maybe i'm not saved but that's definitely the devil you see because you are saved because that is literally doubting god doubting jesus doubting the bible and that's a problem that's how you don't go to heaven right because you are saved but the thing with faith is that you actually have to believe that you're saved and if you're doing things like oh my gosh maybe you know uh because it, it says in the Bible, like, if you're saved or whatever, then, um, you know, you'll know by the works or you'll know by the uh, fruit of the spirit, which is um, the word. Anyway, this is the brain and the heart. I don't know. <laughs> Something like uh, your actions and your thoughts will be aligned or whatever to, you know, Jesus is like how Jesus is or whatever. But that's like a an eventual thing that's a, it's always a journey so you're never gonna be perfect there's no perfect person other than Jesus and that's what you have to remember is you're not perfect you're not going to be perfect Jesus doesn't expect you to be perfect you know so if you made even a small amount of progress that's proof I don't do this once in anymore. That's proof that you are being changed by Jesus. Just because you're not already there doesn't mean that you're not saved, you know? Because you can tell you're saved if you're 
if you're even thinking about like, oh my God, I'm like, I don't want to sin. I don't want to do this. You know, like God, Jesus opens your eyes to that. Like before you were saved, you didn't even think like, oh, I'm doing something wrong. Like it wasn't a thing, you know, like you just, it was just, you were doing stuff and you were living your life in this world. And then when you find God, you realize, oh my God, like there's something happening, you know, I'm regretting things, <laughs> you know, like I'm feeling bad about things. Like you're actually, you have a conscious conscience now, like not just a human conscience, but the Holy Spirit, which is your guide. Anyway, long freaking story short, dude, is the devil will try to trick you into believing that you're not saved, but you are. That's why only 144,000 people, well, okay, that's not why. <laughs> I mean, it might be, actually. So let's, let's talk about that. So apparently only 144,000 people in the first uh, rapture? Not exactly, it's not the, rap the rapture, um, but 144,000 people will be taken first to God, um, and then those are the people who go during the time of tribulation to get followers of Jesus and get people to follow Jesus. Yeah. Okay. So it's only 144,000 people because it's 12,000 people from each tribe, uh, each of the 12 tribes of Israel, right? But if you think about it, there are way more than 12,000 people who are descendants of the tribe of Israel the 12 tribes of Israel because, you know, uh, there are 12 tribes, <laughs> you know, there's more than 12,000 people at each tribe, I'm sure, you know, and like, so we're saying that some people aren't gonna, you know, go at that time, right? Some people will be left out and why? My theory <laughs> is that those are the people who, you know, they're saved and everything, but they don't have faith like you know they went through everything but they don't actually believe that they're saved i think that the way that you get um to be in the 144,000, um obviously you have to be from a descendant of the but you no one knows who's descendant of israel tribes because they moved everywhere you know so anyway <laughs> anyway, so you have to be um, one of those people or whatever, but also you have to know that you're saved too. But I think that's the key is to actually have the faith in knowing that you're saved if you do the things that Jesus said you are supposed to do, you know? So it's real spiritual warfare is real, especially right now for some reason. <laughs> The closer you get to God, the more crazy it gets, the scarier it gets. Like, you start really, like, thinking about, like, wait, am I even special enough to be saved, you know? And it's, like, dude, you were called by God, and he chose you, and so, yeah, you're good enough. Not, you know, it's not by your works or anything, so it's not you. It's just, that's, you know, God, he chose people. You're chosen, okay. if you are. <laughs> um and so don't fall away and oh my gosh okay so that's just like spiritual stuff that's like in your head te technically like he's just trying to get you to not be faithful to god not to have faith in god okay so if you're left behind or whatever for you know whatever reason you you still have a chance that's the important thing is that it's not like you're just gone and he's like nah, i don't like you no you just have to be punished for your sins right but if you still believe in god and believe that he did those things you know um in the end you'll be rewarded with eternal life still um the dead people he apparently <laughs> judges them based on their works um but us people who are uh baptized mm -hmm. and you know believe in jesus and blah 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 uh, <laughs> that stuff gets you um if you're still alive uh, you know eternal life saved whatever um i don't know if we have to die in order to do anything next i don't know anything about <laughs> the future or anything but what i do know is that 
the freaking devil is trying to trick you all the time, man. So you got to like really in the end times, you have to be there with Jesus, okay? You have to realize that the devil is going to try to trick you regardless of where you are in your life, where you are with God, your relationship with God. You know, you just got to stick in there, you know, stick with it. Jesus is a savior, our savior. He saves, literally. Like, he is the savior. So you just remember that. Just keep that in mind and remember the Bible. Always remember the Bible. Everything that the Bible says is true, okay? Don't let anyone tell you anything different. So you got to, like, really be into the Bible. Like, at least know the stories. At least know the, you know, what Jesus said. Like, just know that Jesus said he is the winner, okay? <laughs> You know how like Trump said, oh, I'm going to win. And when he first uh, was about to run for president, he's like, oh, I already won. I'm a winner. Like, I was like, ah, oh, that guy did win. <laughs> he's a winner. Like, people who say that they know what they have to do to win, they're winners. They're like, you know. And he did win. And I didn't vote for him. Durr. I think he's not a nice guy. Uh, <laughs> I mean, for our country, I don't want him to lead it. <laughs> you know. But, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. So that guy, you know, he said, oh, I'm going to win, and he won, right? So imagine, freaking God, the creator of the universe, he says, oh, dude, I already won. He's right. He already won. If Trump can say it and he actually wins, imagine the person who created the universe and everything in it. Yeah, I think he won. I think he won already. And I don't know why people don't believe him when he says that he's a winner and all the things that he's gonna, d he did and will do in the future. I don't see why people don't get that and they don't believe it and stuff. It's so weird. Like, it's really weird because like, it's weird because it's all the truth, you know? He literally only tells the truth. That's all he does is tell the truth. And he said the truth and the only person who lies who hides the truth from us is the devil and that's why we have to be on the lookout all the time by remembering what god said just keep that in your heart and your head and every time the devil says oh you're not good enough or oh you still do something bad you know just be like dude i understand that but i'm not perfect i'm not jesus so like obviously you know he doesn't expect us to be him he expects us to you know progress in life and become like him as the end you see but we can't do that on our own jesus and god and holy spirit they're all helping us all one and that's how they are all helping us but yeah so they're helping us to stay away from the devil and you know get rid of all of his annoying tricks and lies and freaking just annoyingness and just remember if you want to hate anyone or anything, hate the devil. The devil's doing it. He's like tricking us and lying to us and making us like forget about God and stuff. It's like, ugh. like our whole existence is around like God. Like that's the whole point of us. And so he's literally just like ruining our existence by hiding the facts from us and by trying to make it so that we don't find God and that we don't get saved because in the end we'll be just like him. And get burned in the burning sulfur lake lake of burning sulfur i think is what it said um yeah so everyone who in the end doesn't find god after going through the uh punishment then you know you get dead like permanent dead just like the freaking devil like you don't want to do that you don't want to fall down with him you know you don't want to be that loser <laughs> end of the day you know it's like join the winning team are you stupid join the winning team dude join the winning team jesus won already okay done 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 join the winning team don't be a loser please anyway but the devil wants you to think he won because this is his world but <laughs> even still god is here he's taking all of his people and leading them to him so the devil lost in that too he's a loser 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 anyway i think that was about all i wanted to say <laughs> thanks for listening peace out